Hey, it's Hannah, and we're gonna do a full body stretch today. For this practice, all you need is your yoga mat and some space to move. If you like having extra props, some pillows, blankets, or blocks are great to have. We're gonna start in a child's pose today. If child's pose doesn't feel good in your body, you can always stay up in hands and knees with your hips over your knees and just let your head hang down. Otherwise, you can widen out through the knees, sink your hips back to your heels, and just take a few breaths with your forehead against the mat and your arms outstretched. See if you could really tune into your breath in the back of your body, almost like you're stretching out through your spine with every inhale and softening down a little bit more with every exhale. Reach your arms out in front of you a little bit further and then crawl your hands over to the left. Sink a little more weight into your right hip and again, keep your head heavy. Think about breathing into that right side body now. And then just Bring your hands to the second side, weight into the opposite hip, breathe into the left side body. And come on back to center. We'll all come up to hands and knees. Let's breathe in to tip the tailbone up, shine your heart forward, maybe even lift your chin. And as you breathe out, round your back, let your head drop heavy. Do a few more just like that. Inhale to arch. And exhale to round. Land with a long spine. We'll send the right leg long back behind us. And then way over to the left. Take a peek over to your right foot. Think about reaching out through that heel. And then lower that knee down, untuck your toes. And try a couple cat cows here. You can walk your hands in a little. You'll feel this through that left hip. And come back to center. And we'll do that on the other side. So stretch your left leg out. Bring it over to the right, probably off of your mat. Toes tucked under, reach out through your heel and take a peek over to the right to look at your left foot there. Lower your knee. Bring your gaze back to center. Untuck the toes and try a couple cat cows here. Right hip getting a little bit of a release. And 
and come back to center. Wash that off with one normal cat cow. And then just make your way to any comfortable seated position. You can be lengthwise on your mat here, so facing the long edge, and just take a couple breaths. Notice if you feel a little bit different, a little bit more spacious or a little bit more calm. And just reach that left arm up, bring it over to the left side, Sweep your right arm up and over and make a few big circles with this right arm. You can look at your thumb the whole time, even if your eyes are closed. See if you could track where your hand is in space. And just keep reaching up and over so your bicep is near your ear. We're gonna stack the legs here. So you're sitting on your side, big side reach. And then you can reach that arm up and back and breathe out to thread your top arm under the bottom arm. Really nice deep twist. Breathe in, sweep up, back. Breathe out, thread through. Two more like that. Reach up, up, up. Come all the way up with that arm until you can come back to seat it. And then we'll lean the other way. Left arm reaches up and over and we'll go for a few big circles. And then keep your arm reaching up and over, bicep beside your ear. You're gonna bring your legs to that little, what's it called, like sideline. <laughs> Reach your arm up and back and thread it through. And we'll do that three more times. So even just moving your legs from seated into side lying is good for the hips. So there's sneaky little stretches in here too, beyond just the uh, classic movements that we're doing. I lost count, so let's do one more. Reach up, make your way back to seated. Getting kind of fancy. Give your shoulders a roll. Notice how you feel. What's changed? And this time we'll sweep the arms wide and up. Interlace your fingers behind your head, thumbs to the back of your neck, reach your elbows wide. You could even look up to the ceiling, send your heart up. And as you breathe out, curl in, elbows towards each other like you're trying to look at your belly button. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl in. One more. And 
come all the way up. Lower your hands down and let's send the left leg out to the side. You can have this right knee bent, foot in towards your inner thigh. Let's reach both arms up. Turn to face that extended leg and take a little fold over. You don't need to touch your toes or kiss your knee. Just feel that length through the back of your leg. Keep guiding that right knee down. And maybe even a little stretch for your spine here. Breathe in, find a little more space. And breathe out, surrender to it. Two more. You can stay low, or you might like to bring your left hand anywhere onto your left leg. Reach your right arm up and sweep it over as if you were reaching to your toes. But instead of like bending and rounding to try to touch your toes, keep your heart open. Prioritize space through the side body rather than just grabbing your toes. Feel how the breath moves through you, moves through the pose. And then come on up, keep your legs as they are, drop that right hand down, sweep your left arm up and over. You might like to lift your hips and take a big reach. When you've had enough, lower down. Keep this right leg where it is. Bring your left foot over so the sole of the foot is down. If you feel like a pretzel, you can extend this bottom leg forward and sit that way instead. Hold on to your leg, breathe in. And as you breathe out, you can twist towards your leg. You can bring that left hand behind you, take a peek over your shoulder. Unravel, and we're just gonna switch out the legs. So keep your left leg bent, send your right leg long. Breathe in to sweep your arms up and breathe out to fold over that extended leg. You can point or flex your foot. And just take a little flow here. So breathe in, find space, and breathe out, surrender. Two more breaths. You can land right here in this fold, or you can turn it into your side bend by reaching up and over. Point or flex again, whatever feels right for your ankle. Again, prioritize opening through your heart rather than like uh, 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 to touch your foot. And come all the way up. Bring that left hand down, sweep your right arm up and over. Option to lift your hips, find that nice side reach. Lower down. Swing your right leg over the left. Sit tall. You can straighten out the bottom leg. If you're sitting on your foot like I just was, see if you can walk that foot out a little. It'll just get more into your hips that way. And again, we'll sit tall. And we'll breathe out and twist. Take a look over your shoulder. Unravel. 
Unravel your legs and just make your way down onto your back. Take a big stretch once you get there. And then bend your knees. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. Place a hand on your abdomen, maybe one on your heart. And we'll take five breaths here to close out our practice. So long, slow, deep breath in and out. Breathe in. And out. Three more just like that. Last one, breathe in and let it all go. Stay here or straighten out your legs and bring your hands down. And I dare you to do five more breaths here. Maybe 15. You stay as long as you'd like. This time for rest is just as important as the time for work. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Peace.